All right, switching gears now. Here's a live look of downtown. The sun high in the sky, so high you can't even see it on our cameras. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Brandon Michaels. Uh, Brandon, very beautiful day out there today, wasn't it? Absolutely was. A little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday, but not warm enough that it was uncomfortable. Sitting at 80 degrees right now. It's a full 7 degrees warmer than yesterday. Wind has pick up, picked up here this evening. That's been the case for kind of through the whole week. We've seen a little bit breezier conditions later in the day. It's kind of more of a summertime pattern for us here. Let's take a look at the current conditions on the radar. Blue skies here in the valley, but we have been tracking at least one stray thunderstorm earlier off into northeastern Kern County in the desert. You can see there's not a whole lot left of this at this time. That's kind of died out and that's probably all we're going to get. So no real significant rain for today. It is coming eventually. One thing we are tracking over in the desert, though, even though that shower is dying out, some gusty winds up to about 40 miles per hour there through the mountains and desert. Actually, a gust over about 22 here in Bakersfield. So still on the windy side, but here in the valley, no issues with the wind over in the mountains and desert. We do still have wind advisory. That's going to be in effect all the way until 2 a.m. tonight. So those winds sticking around. Here's to Tomorrow's winds for wind forecast again pretty strong over in eastern Kern County, but not as bad as it was today. In general, tomorrow is going to be a little bit calmer and it is going to be a little bit hazier because of that air quality in the moderate range with an AQI of 77. Your temperatures a little bit warmer tomorrow as well. 84 in Bakersfield, 82 in McFarland, 77 at the base of the grapevine. 82 at Jawbone Canyon, 69 into Hatch before tomorrow. So trending up for now, but the big story is the cool down and the rain that's going to be heading our way as we head later into the forecast. So let's do that right now, keeping an eye on this cold front that is slowly going to be heading our way. Not really seeing anything into the day on Saturday, but I think by the time we get to Sunday, we're going to start to introduce those rain chances. Here's 4 p.m. Sunday. Of course, this is just one model. There's a lot of models with the different solutions to this, but definitely going to start watching out for that rain late Sunday afternoon and especially into Sunday evening. That's when I think our best chance for rain is going to be. Could see a little bit of mountain snow out of this too, but I think it's going to be mostly a rain event. This model again kind of dries up that rain as we head into Monday, but we do have some potential for some lingering showers into the day on Monday. So our first good rain chance in a very long time. We're happy to see that on the forecast or in the forecast rather. So let's break that down a little bit more again. Warm tomorrow, 84 degrees. Winds picking up on Saturday. That's as that cold front starts to move in. 79 degrees. Sunday, we get about a 50% chance for some showers. Same thing into Monday, but realistically, the best chance I think is going to be Sunday night into early Monday morning, as much as a 70 or even an 80% chance there. Clearing and then really warming as we head into next week. I think the mountain communities, this system is going to be a little bit slower to arrive. So your better chance of rain is actually going to be again Sunday night into the day on Monday. I bumped that up to about a 70% chance of rain on Monday. I wouldn't completely rule out a little bit of snowflake activity into uh, Tehachapi and Fraser Park. I don't really think we're looking at accumulating snow except above maybe about 6,000 feet at this point though. And then again, temperatures warming up as we head into next week. But a lot going on as we head into the weekend and we'll have a lot more details in the coming days.